Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to solve some sums that are based on impulse invariance method. So, first we will see the question. Question is, find h of z at 5 hertz sampling frequency from h of s. h of s is equal to 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 2. h of s is analog transfer function. As h of s is combined, we will use a partial fraction expansion method. That is, we will separate the denominators. We can also see that the poles P1 is equal to minus 1, that is S is equal to minus 1 and pole P2 is equal to minus 2, that is S is equal to minus 2. When we equate this S plus 1 is equal to 0 and S plus 2 is equal to 0, we get this. We will now use partial fraction method to separate these both the terms. So let us say 2 by S plus 1 into S plus 2 is equal to A upon S plus 1 plus B upon S plus 2. We will cross multiply this both the terms. We get a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 1 upon s plus 1 into s plus 2. That is equivalent to 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 2. Denominator gets cancelled. So we are left with a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 1 is equal to 2. Now we have to find out the values of a and b. We will consider s value as minus 1. So it comes out to be b into 0, a into minus 1 plus 2, that is a. So a is equal to 2. When s is equal to minus 2, this a into minus 2 plus 2, so a terms becomes 0, we are left with b, that is b into minus 2 plus 1. So minus b is equal to 2, so b is equal to minus 2. Finally, we can write after partial fraction expansion, that is h of s is equal to 2 upon s plus 1 minus 2 upon s plus 2. Now we will obtain the z transform using impulse invariance transformation. But first we should write the equation. So general method that is 1 upon s minus pk is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to pkt z raised to minus 1. So we will solve this using this formula. In this sum, the sampling frequency is mentioned as 5 hertz. So the time of the sampling that is 1 by fs will be equal to 1 by 5. That is 0 0.2 seconds. Now we also have poles that is p1 is equal to minus 1 and p2 is equal to minus 2. So we will substitute this and we get using this formula for 1 upon s plus 1 is equivalent to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 1 into 0.2 z raised to minus 1. That is 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 0.2 z raised to minus 1. And 1 upon s plus 2 is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 2 into 0.2 z raised to minus 1. That will be 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 0.4 z raised to minus 1. This is both the points, the pole point and the time period point. So they both are multiplied and we get minus 0.4. Now the transfer function for digital filters is given by h of z is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to capital N a k 1 minus e raised to p k t s z raised to minus 1. So in this case we get h of z we know that we are having two poles. So it will be like a1 upon 1 minus e raised to p1 t s z raised to minus 1 plus a2 upon 1 minus e raised to p2 t s z raised to minus 1. So using the above equations for 1 upon s plus 1 and 1 upon s plus 2 we finally get h of z is equal to 2 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 0.2 z raised to minus 1 minus 2 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 0.4 z raised to minus 1. We will also find out the values of exponential terms that is e raised to minus 0.2 and e raised to minus 0.4. After substituting the values, we finally get 2 upon 1 minus 0.818 z raised to minus 1 minus 2 upon 1 minus 0.67 z raised to minus 1. So we will convert these terms into positive powers of z. 
so you will write the terms as 2 upon 1 minus 0 0.818 upon z minus 2 upon 1 minus 0 0.67 upon z. We will multiply this z in the numerator and denominator. So we finally get as 2z upon z minus 0 0.818 minus 2z upon z minus 0 0.67. Now again we are going to cross multiply both the terms and simplify. We finally get as 2z into z minus 0 0.67 and minus 2z into z minus 0.818 upon both the terms multiplied that are z minus 0.818 multiplied by z minus 0.67 so we finally get after simplifying is 0.29z upon z square minus 1.488z plus 0.54 this is the required transfer function for digital IR filter Thank you.